All right, here we go once again, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, it's the time of the week where we actually start to breathe, right? We start to notice these, uh, notice these patterns that we have and we execute our virtues. And that's what I've been sort of really recognizing is that a lot of the content, not only my posts in the, in the group, not only the, the podcast um, and the lives, but they basically allow people to have some insights, right? Start to notice their patterns of where they might be stuck and notice their patterns of ego, for example, around fear or doubt or frustration. And, uh, and then these sort of calls. So the group coaching call is when we actually start to transform. So you become from awakening and seeing your patterns to then transforming your patterns. It's on this type of call where we actually just start to implement it and actually start to operate from that place. Obviously, it resonates with you to come from a place of gratitude, to come from a place of love, to come from a place of service, right? Generosity. And that's why it feels so good in your, in your body, in your, in your soul, in your spirit is because that's really where we love to come from. That's more of who and what we are. And we can forget that, right? And so it's through our transformation where we come on here and we actually execute on that right? We actually, when someone is on here and speaking and we're asking ourselves that question of how may I serve, you're actually taking the action on those virtues. So those virtues of love, of kindness, generosity, of service. Because when you ask yourself the question of how may I serve, more of who you are flows through, right? More of who you are flows through. And that's why I love at the start of these calls for everyone to just take a breath, to get present, to feel your body and to just breathe while remembering a time when you just did a random act of kindness, right? A random act of kindness that was just a pull for you, not because of what you could get, not because of the recognition or the accolades, but because it's who and what you are is to serve is to give is to be in a space of love, knowing that we're all connected anyway, right? I'm sure you can feel what it felt like when you just gave because that's who you are, right? And that's really where I, I'm encouraging people to start building businesses from. What you get is also really important, right? We want it, we're here because we're, we're, we're human and we want to live in this human world. And uh, part of that is our experiences, Right? But what I found is that it is in a lot of people's expansion for that experience to come as a byproduct of who and what they are, right? And so this is really, really cool where people are starting to hear out and hear some people about their business, about what they have going on. And then when we ask, how may we serve? You can ask yourself the question, who can I connect them with? Who's in my network that just jumps out at me that I can connect them with? It would be a really, really cool collaboration, maybe a really good partnership, right? Or how can we collaborate? How can we start to form our, our resources so that we can collaborate in some way? Or how can I just serve by sending them some resources, sending them something that, might, that I think might be able to help? And when you come from that place of serving, right? when you come from that place of giving, that's really where magic starts to happen, right? And that's what you guys have experienced when you're connecting with a lot of people, when you're just on there, just being from a place of service and starting to network and collaborate and be of, be of service. It's been really, really cool to see what this group has, uh, has been able to form. So you guys know, uh, if you haven't already, grab your phone. This is the same, same day and time each week. Uh, we'll be jumping on here. I'll be introducing you to some new people. Um, and it's, it's, it's just really cool to be able to network this way. So feel free to put it in your, in your calendar for each week. Uh, obviously a lot of you have, that's why a lot of you are showing up live. Uh, and, uh, and tomorrow, same time is, uh, is when we do the group coaching calls as well. So that's when we dive in deep and do a lot of the inner work, which is always fun. Uh, so without further ado, I'd love to, uh, I'd love to invite Michael in a minute. Michael and I met a while ago, but we basically have been in communication. He was recently on the podcast, the podcast episodes coming out in a few weeks, but it's really cool to hear his experience, his story, uh, and, uh, and, and definitely what he has on offer. 
because a lot of you guys will want to connect with him and, uh, and see what you can do together in order to expand, expand your business, expand your networks and, uh, and meet some really cool people as well. So I'd love to invite Michael on if you're ready. Here we go. And we begin. One second, I can't hear you. <laughs> Are y'all plugged in? I'm plugged in here now. All We're right, good. fantastic. I'm also <laughs> it's a plugged great in day. Here. <laughs> I like it. How are you? I'm good, my friend. I'm good. Awesome to have a chat. Uh, I love to give you the platform for a bit, explain a little bit about who you are, what you do, and how this community can help you in some way. Absolutely. So I wanted to thank everybody. It's great to be on. I see people from all over the world, so that's always fantastic. Um, you know, just a sort of a one minute rundown, I always say. Um, oh, a little over 20 years ago, uh, my wife and I actually uh, dove in really on uh, her prompting to uh, network marketing. Uh, did really well, and that really brought us into uh, connection with uh, Bob Proctor, and Zig Ziglar was part of it. And then we started to build uh, coaching and training businesses. And we, one of the big coaching and training businesses that we did, and we actually had done uh, was with Chris Howard. And so Chris Howard did a ton of work in Australia. So we toured a lot through Australia. She went down there a lot and we ran his online community. We became his director. And so we were in a lot of big events, right? We were in Sydney and Melbourne and Brisbane. And at a lot of those were stadium shows. We'd have five to 10,000 people on a weekend. And it was very heavy in NLP because that was really his influence was training and teaching of NLP. Um, so we did that for about four and a half, five years. She ran his crew. Um, I ran, I was director of coaching. She also ran his event, billionaire venture club. She was a, a big part of it and it was great. We traveled the world. We had a lot of fun and that came out of both of us actually being a nurses. That was our experiences before, uh, but just wanted to change in our life and realized number one, residual income was really important. Number two, how can we be of service? And we always asked, how can we be of service? What can we do? What's more that we can do? And that really became a big part of everything that we did do. Um, then I got a call from, I don't know, some of you might know from the Millionaire Mind Intensive, Mr. T. Harv Ecker. He asked me, uh, he was number one in the U.S. next to Tony at Peak Potentials and asked me to revamp his whole coaching program and then take it internationally. So we did. That was 2009 to about 2011. He sold that influence, but I still built the international touring all the time. By 2012, I was with Success Resources and that was for a good, uh, I don't even know what year we're in now, seven years. Um, and we exclusively promoted Tony Robbins and Robert Kiyosaki around the world. I built one of the uh, masterminds next to that, and we put together more training and coaching programs. And it's been just a great, you know, it's great for all the people we've met, everything that we've done. And now for the last year, we've launched a podcast company. We've launched 12 new shows. Um, I work with, I work alongside a company called Power Team, and we still have our coaching and training business and still do it together, which has just been great. It's, you know, it's a great to work together and it's a great to have that, you know, that we can brain trust and work sort of what do we do now? And it's always been of service because we always said, how can I help? How can I help? We started actually in this career by not only, first of all, we buy every course, right? Buy every course, read every book and buy every course. That's just what you do because you're always investing in yourself. And so that's what we did. At the same time, we volunteered. We were a crew. We were karma crew. We were always, what do you need? We, my wife jumped on the cameras. I was a stage guard, right? I'm, you know, we did whatever it took. We moved chairs. And that volunteering always puts you into people's uh, sort of their, their mindset. And that's really critical. So that's what we did. <clears throat> Started out in LA, you know, been up in Seattle a long time now, over 20, I don't even, I, I got to do the math again, 26 years almost. Um, and continued to make a difference. So, you know, part of the reason I'm excited you had me on this call, because I'm always saying, okay, I have access to like 300 stages and I have access to all these podcast shows and I have access to 10 to 14 hours of virtual summits. Um, and, you know, we created a very high level brain trust, which are personal invite only. And we're always looking for members for that, but that takes a personal conversation. So I'm here to jump on to say, how can I help? How can I be of service to your members? bring my wealth, knowledge, and information, always willing to have a 15-minute call with somebody, if nothing else, just to help direct them, right? Or as we say, redirect uh, and go from there. Awesome. Yes. I mean, 
to sum all of that up, <clears throat> Michael's got very, very big network and a lot of experience and uh, a rich, rich network of, of knowledge and uh, just coming from a place of service. And uh, it's, it's, that's very, very clear. It comes across in, in your demeanor and, and, and especially in, in what you offer to the world. So uh, I've got a bit of a, a surprise for you as well. Um, when I knew you were going to come on this type of call um, a couple of weeks ago, I put a post in the group uh, asking people, whoever wants to be speakers on virtual, small virtual stages, let me know. And I think about 13 or 14 people um, reached out and, uh, and said yes. So I'll tag you in that post um, so that you can connect with the people who want to become more speakers and, uh, and you can direct them to the right platform to be able to share their message and, uh, and increase their reach. You know, happy to do that. And also, is it okay if I just type my email address too? It's a good way to just reach me and we can set up calls. Is that okay? Yeah, totally, totally. Um, okay, I'll I, type it in as after. Yeah, I always, uh, always say before you leave, make sure you, uh, make sure you type in the chat box here. Um, you know, it's some sort of way that people connect with you, whether it be your Facebook email, something like that. Um, Done. See, <laughs> I do so many of these calls. Um, you know, and you're oh, right. That's only for me. It, you, you put it to just all panelists. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I'll get, I'll get it in a second. Um, but the, you know, the biggest thing is that really that, that to be, uh, here we go, here it comes, um, to, to always be of service. You know, it's interesting because we have long-term relationships because of it. So we went, my wife and I went to an event in London at Ali Pali. We had about 5,000 people and it's a great event. I got to tell you the stories one day about the people running around with drums and sticks and, and one of our trainers tackling them. And he was an Aussie, it was funny. Um, <laughs> but one of the Aussies there who ran the whole crew and ran the whole setup, uh, Andrew McCauley was on the show last night that I did. And so we've known him since like 2005. And those, I still tell a story of when we were at Ali Pali. It's like 2007 because there was a McDonald's. Yes, I know not the best food on the planet, but there was a McDonald's that at midnight would not serve us in North London because we it was only drive through. And here's three Aussies and me in pouring rain and we, using all the NLP we've ever learned, all the negotiation, and they still wouldn't do it. We were ready to get into somebody's car because you do whatever it takes to get it done. And I think it was the three Aussies that finally convinced this Londoner, I better just feed these people because they're never going away. It was, but that builds <laughs> relationships and stories, you know, because he was willing to do whatever it takes to get the American fed. And my wife was to get my wife fed. And I will never forget those kind of things. Those are the kind of things, like when we run masterminds, we do days of service. And so we went to Hawaii. I told you this, but this is where you're of service. We went to Hawaii. And for, for the Brothers and Sisters Club of Hawaii, we were going to build 20 bikes. We built 120 bikes. And they were like, how did you do that in three and a half hours? Because we were there to be of service for you, not for us. Yeah. Uh, and Michael told this story on the podcast, podcast episode that come out in a few weeks. And he said there was just a group of them. And like I said, it was expected of them to make about 20 bikes, right? 20 bikes for, for children that were going to be given as gifts, right? As gifts for, for Christmas, I believe. And, yeah. um, yes, it was. Yeah. And yeah, because they were coming from such a high level of service, right? I don't know what the hell it was, whether it was your creativity or just brute force because of that energy, but they made 120 bikes instead of 20 bikes and just offered that much service. And I think, you know, from that energy, that, flows through because that's more connected to who and what you are. And I believe this type of call and the people on this, on, on this call as well uh, are flowing with that energy. And I'm just providing more of a platform for people to build a business from that place instead of the place where a lot of people are building it from, which is the energy of, of fear or scarcity or needing that next level of success to fill that void within themselves. And it's just been a, such a cool response from everyone like everyone on this call and, and like you, Michael, to just recognize that this is exactly what we're doing. So everyone feel free to reach out to, to Michael, feel free to send him an email. Um, I'll tag you in that post as well, Michael, that, um, that a lot of people already, already, uh, you know, showed their interest in, in being more of a speaker and speaking on those virtual stages you, you spoke of. Um, is there anyone else you're looking to connect with or any other way in which we can, we can help in, in your moves, in your moves forward? Yeah, you know, the biggest thing we're looking for right now, we're creating what's called a brain trust because we did build those pretty big masterminds. So we are creating a brain trust, a pretty, you know, high level group of individuals. What does that mean? It means you need to come and be of service. And if you come to be of service, you know, we'll figure out the other side of it. 
but I'm really looking for just people who are there to be of service and you have experience in their speaking, speaking, coaching, training, or the business world. Um, if you're just starting out in business, we have other places to put you, but this would not be for it. Um, and that you want to reach out to a large group of, because you'll be tied into not only a large group of business people, but actually a large people in entertainment. So um, if you think in your mind, wow, that person is, is truly of service, their business is rocking or really about to rock, um, like Tyson. Um, and, you know, uh, they, they just, they will just be there and not have come from the what's in it for me. I want to know who they are. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's awesome. No doubt everyone's going to want to reach out. Uh, feel free to grab his email that's in the chat. Um, Plenty of love to you, my friend. Thanks for joining. Thanks for sharing all about what you do and how you do it. It's very, very inspirational. So thanks so much, man. Thank you. You're amazing. Cheers, mate. All right. If you guys want to jump on, shout out to Jen Forster. How are you doing? Hey, Jen's got a pretty cool story. Uh, if you want to jump on, Jen, uh, let me know because you've gone through a, a, a recent shift that would be really, really cool for people to hear. Uh, that would be awesome. So let me know, but feel free, everyone type in one in the chat. If you want to, if you want to jump on and just like Michael to share your, your story, share where you're at and, um, and I'll make sure to uh, make sure to call upon you if we have time. So I'd love to bring on Jen. This would be really, really cool. Where's your name? There's your name. Oh, right, my friend. Jen, how are you? I just started my video. Am I on? I think I am. I can't see you, but I can hear you, which is, which is important. Yes, no. Oh, I've frozen. Let me just try and sort that out. If we don't get the video going, that's okay too. Hey, How's there you that? are. <laughs> hey, how are you? Doing well. I'm doing well. I thought it'd be cool when I saw your name there because we've been obviously chatting for the last few days and you've we created have. a big shift within yourself in terms of mm -hmm. what your work's done for some people. So it'd be awesome mm. to share Hi, Barbara. Your journey, Barbara. <laughs> but it'd be cool to yeah share your story. Yeah, look, Tyson, you and I, um, I feel like we're the male and female version of each other in a sense. And the universe definitely, you know, collided our paths, and I'm so grateful for that. And I'm so grateful for the amount of incredible humans that are in the that keep showing up at the serving circle it's so cool but yeah i had a really really big um shift and i often talk about where we know stuff intellectually like we really know it intellectually but then something happens and you get that embodied shift where the intellectual wisdom it, it kind of seeps it, it somehow seeps down and into every cell of your body. And then you suddenly have embodied wisdom, which is just like 10 xing the intellectual wisdom. And I had that moment uh, just in the last few weeks, actually. So hi, Andrea. I'm just saying hello to some people that are saying hi to me. So that's so <laughs> cool. Um, um, now, I have intellectually been really clear on the people that, uh, that I serve. And, and I, and I do that willingly, you know, I, I, I am a giver. I just love to give, but, and I've had feedback. So I wrote, so for those that don't know, um, I wrote a book and published it almost a year ago now. And I've had lots of feedback from, from the book saying, you know, from people saying, Oh, it was fantastic. You know, your book is so fantastic. It changed my life. And, you know, and I'm like, Oh, that's great. Thank you very much. Um, I'm so happy. You know, that's awesome. But a f about a, a few months ago now, I had a, a woman reach out to me who I'd never met and uh, didn't know. And I almost didn't even accept the messenger thing because it was such a weird name. 
but um, I opened it up and read it. And she just basically said, look, you don't know me. Um, I'm, uh, I have a daughter who has read your book and I'm going to cry when I say this. And she said, um, I want to thank you because you've given me back my daughter. And I, I just, you know, I was just a mess. Like it really brought me to my knees. And it, it suddenly became something, I, I think it was just, it was, it was really me receiving it, you know, just really receiving um, the acknowledgement and the awareness of this gift that is clearly in the universe is embedded in me, right? That I've intellectually been trying to give. And now I have this deeper understanding of, when we just continue to be in service, um, the universe will handle your gift and get it to the people that you are here to be in service of. Um, I have met the daughter, so I've since now met the daughter, and um, and that was such a moment as well because it was a I didn't plan to meet her. The universe literally after I had this message from her mum. Um, I literally collided accidentally in this uh, yoga class uh, with her daughter and she literally came at me and threw her arms around me. This was before COVID um, and, um, and hugged me and said, you're Jen. And I went, yeah, yeah, I am. Um, she goes, I'm Claire. And again, it's just going to make me cry. But yeah, I, I realised fully that I've been, I've been trying to serve. I've been trying to control the serving. I hope this is making sense for everyone. Whereas all I, what I've now kind of, um, you know, really embodied is I just, I just have to, I just, I just got to keep giving the gift, right? That's all I'm here to do is just give my gift, give my gift. And 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 not be attached to how that looks um and it kind of gave me this really big pivot in in getting out of my own way right i've i've really been in in the trying to control how i give my gift i've actually been blocking my gift right i've been really minimizing my gift and knowing that for me now it's not about me it's not about my book even, you know, it's not about the words I speak, the actions I take. It's not about any of that. It's really about being able to find and connect to all the Claire's in this world that are in need of my gift, that my gift is here to serve. So yeah, really pivotal. And it's just changed the way and the why it's really changed the why I'm doing what I'm doing and being who I'm being. Mm. That's such a huge shift. It, it hits me. It hits me emotionally as well. Cause when I, you know, some people message me all the time and you said, Jen, the thing that really shifted you was when Claire was speaking to you and said, and didn't say you changed my life. She said, you saved my life. And what else are we here for? Right. I mean, I have some people message me and uh, all the time. They're like, you changed my life. And I, I sometimes I'll, I'll admit, I don't really take that in a lot. Um, but it does, it does really matter. It does allow you to get back to your why and realize you're not, you're not here for you. Right. And, no. uh, and it's, it's super, super powerful. I've had people message me all the time. And, you know, some people say how much they've, I've changed their life or, or how much the contents helped them. Um, and some people also say you, you even saved my life. And I mean, how much does that just bring you to your knees and just say, okay, that just awakens something else, right? Because I wake up sometimes mm -hmm. and I think about these types of calls and sometimes my ego, I'll be, I'll be honest, sometimes my ego will say like, oh my God, these guys making awesome connections. What am I getting from it, Right. What am I getting from it? They're, they're <laughs> collaborating. They're doing this. No one's reached out to help me. 
And it's just such a, it's just forgetting that we're all connected, Mm. right? It's just forgetting Mm. that we're all one anyway. When I help you, you, I'm helping myself. When you guys all connect and you create something magical, I'm part of that, whether it's indirectly or directly because we're all connected. And so that's Mm. it. I just wanted you to jump on to to have that story because Mm. Uh, it, it, it'll trigger something in, in people now to really remember why we're not only in business, but why we're here on the planet, right? Mm. To, to really serve, to make a difference and to allow that divine genius to come out without conditions on what you think it should look like, right? That's the thing. That is the thing. And thank you for making that distinction. That's the thing. And, and I'm the same. You know, I do also wake up some days and, you know, a lot sometimes where I'm going, oh, what's the point? I'm not connecting. You know, no one's receiving what I'm trying to, you know, my help. No one wants my help. No one's receiving my help. But that's, that's the small me that thinks I need to be in control of who and how mm. um, my gift is received or, you know, all I have to do is just keep giving it. That's all. And when we think about it in those really simple terms, it helps you kind of get out of the way. And yeah, that, that amazing distinction um, between, you know, even the whole, you change my life, you, ch- you save my life. But I, I want to add that we mustn't, we shouldn't be minimizing or we mustn't minimize when someone says you really changed my exactly. life. I, I noticed how much I was minimizing that and dismi- being dismissive of that, not consciously, but, uh, but definitely unconsciously. So I, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, it's been massive for me to be more in the receiving of that, really be in the receiving. You know, it could be a conversation over oranges in the supermarket, right? It really could. You could really have an impact for someone. We just have, we just keep speaking your gift, keep giving your gift, keep, you know, living your gift, keep, you know, embodying your gift. It's all we're here for, you know? Yeah. Thanks, totally. Tyson. That's okay. Mm. That's all good. Yeah. I mean, you can think about the different sides of you because, I mean, think about oranges. My brother and I, we do shopping together, uh, grocery shopping uh, every week. And more often than not, we'll just be idiots and we'll always race to the, uh, to the bananas, the, 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 first, the first lot of bananas. And we always joke around saying, like we, we yell at each other, he's going to get the good bananas. And like, we just make everyone around, around us laugh and just have such a good uh, playful energy, even when we're doing groceries. And then I think about that difference compared to me when I'm, you know, the last few days I've held, had a lot of frustration come up um, because, you know, I, my ego thinks things should be a certain way. But as you guys know, when you do a lot of meditation, stuff will come up that you're, uh, that you're really ready to look at and really ready to heal. And so that's what I've been healing the last few days. And, um, and it's got me back to my why, right? <laughs> You're the same, Jen? Yeah, I, I um, yeah, sat up this morning and, and just, and just, just met it. I, I woke up to the chatter, right? I woke up to the chatter. You know, if anyone else has this happen, say, you know, put a, a thumbs up or a yes in the chat because who doesn't wake up often this is going before our feet even hit the floor. And sometimes it sounds like I've got to do this and I've got to do this. And, and you know, how am I going to do this? And uh, I'm worried about this, but I, that happened for me this morning, just this morning. And now, you know, doing this work and using these kinds of tools, I have the awareness to recognize it. And so I just, yeah, I, I, I sat in meditation for an hour and a half, like literally an hour and a half. I didn't set my timer. And I just observed and listened and recognized that's, that's not me. That's not the truth of who I am that's doing all that talking. That's, you know, that's a pattern. That's an old identity that's having a little freak out. And, you know, I, in that meditation, I got to really just um, bear witness to the part of me that's having a little freak out right yeah. now and not, not be the freak out. Right. And yeah. And you know, and now look, here I am randomly talking about it, which I could not have planned or controlled right, in any yeah. way, shape or form. So it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, yeah. 
for me, stillness, silence, meditation um, is a beautiful tool for bearing witness to the part of you that's going to freak out often. Mm. Absolutely. And this, this is a conversation more towards, you know, we could have had this uh, tomorrow on the group coaching call where we do the, <laughs> the inner work. We might, we might, uh, I'll, I'll continue this, uh, uh, you know, whether it's with, with you jump on that call or whether it's by myself talking about this topic, because yeah, tomorrow mm. we will dive in deep on it. Um, I'll share a bit more about what, what I'm going through and, uh, and everything that I've been implementing. Um, but obviously Jen is, her story is really Thanks, impactful Jen. and it can create a lot, especially um, on a, on a podcast. I forgot to ask everyone who has a podcast, uh, feel free to put your links in the chat. And everyone who uh, is looking to be a guest, feel free to reach out to those links and, uh, and reach, reach out to those people and make sure you, um, you just have a chat and see if it's the right fit. Cause uh, Jen's always a really, really cool guest, obviously with her, not only her book and her, her story, um, but also her energy as well is really, really cool. So anyone who has a podcast, you're looking for more guests, looking to connect with other hosts to collaborate, Feel free to chuck your uh, the links in the chat and make sure uh, make sure to connect with some people. Um, but Jen, absolute pleasure. Is there anything else this this group and community can do to to help you move forward or to connect you in some way? Um, I really I really want to just speak. I really just want to um, ideally I'd really like to uh, be able to create more of a presence in America. Don't ask me why I'm saying that. That is just coming through. And rather than block it and go, well, that doesn't make sense. That's what I'm hearing in my heart right now, that my voice needs to really uh, make its way to America. So, um, yeah, if I can, if, if you have a podcast or you have a community that I can support in some way, I've got a ton of tools I can share. Um, yeah, I, I give all the practices away in my book. I'm very open and transparent. Is no, and I guess that's something to say to you know Tyson is, we I think we need to remind ourselves to be really uh, open and giving with everything that we have because the more we give our stuff away, and I'm not suggesting that we don't make a living or don't earn money. Of course, energy money is just energy, but I think the more we we share our stuff out in the world the more space we actually make within ourselves for even more to come in you know we get this beautiful flow and this yeah so i am yeah there's something in my head or my heart saying speak more in america i that does not make sense to me as you will know tyson because i don't even know where that came from but i was called to say it so i've said yeah. it. beautiful beautiful <laughs> yeah um a lot of people will probably want to check out your book as well. So feel free to put a link or your name of your book. <laughs> there it is. I was just, um, I have a, a, a group, a free group where it's just called powerfully peaceful women. And I unpack a chapter just uh, on a live every Wednesday morning before this call. So that I don't normally carry my book around under my arm, but I just happen to. We know you do. We know you do. <laughs> You got oh, one always, right, always, always under your, your jumper or your sweater. You just pull a book out. Here it is. Ta-da. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Feel thank free you. To put Th some and links. thank you, Tyson. You're welcome. I, I adore you in, in the hugest, most open-hearted way. And I know you know that, but um, yeah, anyone who's on here that may be new, Tyson is the real deal. You are the real deal in in this world of um of open-hearted aligned human beings you are thank the bomb.com my friend thank, thank you. you thank you i appreciate it i appreciate the the feedback and this is something that i've received a lot uh and that i'm taking in in my meditations is just recognizing and appreciating all those all the feedback all the uh all the kind words it, it really does mean a lot and uh and i always i always appreciate it but always reflect back to that we are great. I'm just fl what flows through me is what's flowing through you and everyone's just uh, having their own unique, unique form of genius. So um, it's my pleasure. I'm not going, I'm not going to slow down anytime soon. So thanks so much for being on and, uh, and Thank no doubt people are going to want to reach out as well. So feel free to put any links in the chat that you feel is a good fit. I will. Awesome. Awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful. I just really wanted to bring her on. I just felt, a pull to share Jen because uh, she has a 
insight and and something that uh is is about what this group is it's really about not only making those connections but coming from your why and and the energy in which you come from that's really really cool uh anyone else want to come on let me know feel free to type one in the chat uh and we'll see we'll see what we can do but feel free to continue to put your links in there um one thing that really helps me as well is when you guys have been inviting others uh when you have been inviting others to this type of call uh because it's been really cool to get new speakers on every week and uh and allow people to um just allow people to connect and meet um for those of you who are new we all also collaborate and share on slack so exactly what we do here we also do on slack where we have some channels that we share our links promote ourselves make sure we connect with the right people in our own time uh, because I know we can't necessarily make all the connections here that we want. So I set up a Slack channel that everyone is able to um, jump on. Uh, I will first of all put that link in. I always, uh, I always make sure that I'm prepared, but that makes me unprepared because I never have these sort of links on hand. Uh, but I'll put the link to the, uh, I'll put the link to the Slack channel for those of you who might be new. I'll make sure my chat's set to all panelists and attendees and I'll put that in there for anyone who is new. Awesome. So Kelly's just bought, <laughs> just bought uh, Jen's book. Awesome. Feel free to, uh, feel free to everyone jump on, jump on, buy the book. It's, it's, it's impactful. Goes through, goes through some cool frameworks. Awesome. Does anyone who hasn't been on yet, who will anyone want to jump on? If not, this seems like a really cool call. We haven't had Dan on in a few weeks. We've got Dom volunteering as well. Dom was on last week, I believe. Awesome. Let's bring on Dan. Everyone loves Dan. He's cool. If we get some time, we'll bring on, we'll bring on Dom as well or anyone else who wants to, uh, who wants to jump on. Here he is, man of the hour. Little, little by little, there we are. How are you, my friend? I am doing well. I'm glad to be here as always. And I love, everyone loves Dan. I, I think if we could, uh, if we could share that a little wider in the world, I'm good with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll do what I can, all right? I'll do what I can. Yeah, I man, I'm I'm super glad to be back. I love everybody in this group. Everybody that I, I I think everybody that's commented, I've had an opportunity to have a call with. And Tyson, thanks for what you're putting together. Thanks for the people you're bringing together, the introductions that you're making, and the community that you are creating, supporting, inspiring. All of those things. So thanks for that, man. You're welcome. Very welcome. It's my pleasure. It's awesome. Like I say, my it's 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 important for me to also share. Uh, share my my struggles and doubts and fears and worries and all those different things. But I come here each week uh, from a place of from a place of service. That's what that's what really shines through. And I know that because I know that's also what comes through uh, for you guys as well. Um, so you guys can obviously feel my feel my presence and my love and support. So I'm always happy to help how I can. And obviously introduce you to some more people, some cool people. And like I said, you're, you're a super connector as well. You, you connect with many people and just organize chats and see how you may surf. So yeah, feel free to share a bit about your, your podcast, your, your program, whatever you have doing next and feel free to uh, share how we might be able to help. Yeah, man, lots of exciting stuff going on. And the, and the, the first, uh, just to continue what I was saying a moment ago, I'm just incredibly touched by the hearts of the people in this group. And if I, I will say it again at the end, but if there's one message that I can leave with each of you, it truly is that you matter. Where you are right now, what you are doing in the world, you matter. Your story matters. Your life matters. Your heart matters. And please keep shining and understand the value that you have. And and if really, I could just stop there, honestly, but I will I'll share a couple of other things because I think it's I think it's important. Many of you were here before, had a chance to hear my story. If not one-on-one, -on -one, you've heard my story, so I won't dive too deep into that, other than to say that having spent 
my life dealing with a lot of different challenges, and haven't we all? I, I, really, I grew up and I dealt with a lot of anxiety and depression, which has reared its head in the last couple of days. So I've been fighting the fight. Tyson, I'm, I'm right, there with, right there with you deal, dealing with it, man, and doing all the things that I teach others to do to, to fight my way out of it. I am pleased that the recovery time as I've gotten older and learned different skills is significantly shorter than it might have been when I was younger. And I'm also pleased that the network of people around that have a lot of love for me have supported me even as uh, even as a lot of difficult things have happened in the last few days and I'm just grateful for that but as I as I think about a couple of things that I wanted to share the first is our podcast and last time I was here I shared about how the podcast and, and everything that I do is all aimed at the mission of inspiring true generational change. It's aimed to help creatives and women entrepreneurs and people in the LGBTQ community and everybody else, but especially those groups who are often overlooked and underserved to have the foundations of success that they need to achieve their dreams. And as a result, my goal is to inspire, to help them prepare and allow them to inspire true generational change in the world. One of the ways we do that, and I'll talk about two of them briefly. One of the ways we do that is through our podcast and multiple people here, Daniela and Melody and Andrea and, to, to name, and Ian, Ian's been on, Ian's one of the few two-time guests, have been on the show. And my, my request for you guys is download an episode, listen, pick, a, pick an episode that sounds really cool and share it. So that, that's, a, that's a really direct request to you guys. It is called Dreams Are Real. You'll know it because it's got the little kid with the airplane wings looking like he's having fun. And the R-A-R-E is all caps. The foundation of the podcast is that your story matters, that no matter where you are, no matter who you are, no matter what you've gone through in your life, that your story matters. And we tell deep powerful stories. And then we come out of that and show that there's always light through the darkness. That's really why I wanted to talk about that tonight. Because for me, I've been reminding myself of two things the last two days in particular. One, there is always light through the darkness. That no matter what you're dealing with, there is always light through the darkness. We just have to hold on to that light and step toward it. And the second is that no matter how bad things are on the on their very darkest of days, that 90% of what is going on in our life in a very practical objective sense is still good. So our mission is to never let the 10 control the 90, no matter what else we may struggle with, no matter how challenging each of these individual things may be, we need to never let the 10 control the 90. And that is a lot of what our podcast is about. I would, the second thing that I would mention, and then, I, then I'll have a quick, easy request, and I'm glad to chat about anything else you want, Tyson. But the, uh, <laughs> the, Second thing is that we have a platform that is built. I said our mission is to give the foundations of success. Our platform is called the Foundations of Success. I'll put the link in the chat, but it is literally foundationsofsuccess.leadersmustlead.com, or you can find it from our website, leadersmustlead.com. And the cool thing for each of you guys, and really for everybody right now, is we are offering a free class about leadership and we break leadership into four to four pillars the four pillars the first one is personal growth because the hardest person to lead is ourself you will get a training i promise you that is different than any leadership training that you've ever gotten it is free it is super high quality it's all on our platform it's about an hour and a half of training please go there take it and then send some feedback to us if you're the affiliate type person you can click into that but it's a newer platform but it's the culmination of everything that i've trained all my one-on-one -on -one clients a couple of whom are on this call that all of my all of my one-on-one -on -one clients have have paid huge amounts of money for over time it's that culmination of putting it together and giving it to you in a good way, and in this case, free. So I just, I wanted to share that that's a free opportunity for the group. And then other than that, the last request I have is if you know of any podcasts I should be on, speaking opportunities that would be appropriate or people that I should know, every one of you knows I'm a connector because I've had not a five minute conversation, but probably an hour conversation with you. Or if it's Ian, our shortest conversations are like an hour and a half. So he calls me for five minutes and it's two hours later and we're done. But just know that my heart is for you guys. I love you guys so much. And as I said, I would say at the end, your story matters, your life matters, your dreams truly are real. So man, I'm glad to chat about anything else, but that's what I got, my friend. That's awesome. That's beautiful. Yeah. One thing that I, um, 
I'm looking to really encourage people to do is when you, when you check out Dan's podcast, uh, leave a review as well. Not only uh, let him know of some feedback and uh, connect him with some people that, uh, that would be a good fit, but feel free to leave some reviews. Um, also with all of you guys who have podcasts, um, if I haven't left a review yet, let me know and I'll, I'll jump on, uh, I'll jump on iTunes and leave you guys a review. Uh, I just love doing that. If it's just listening to a few episodes and, and, and giving some real honest, uh, and giving some real honest feedback and, uh, and just sharing with everyone else how cool it is and how cool the podcast is. Um, Dan's a, a real expert in pulling out a story with someone and the stories on his that are told on that podcast are so inspiring. Uh, I reached out to Dan when I was on his podcast. I just wanted some feedback on being an interviewer and because uh, he just does it so masterfully. And so I really, uh, I love that about you and um and definitely everyone who's on here can can go and check that out and everyone else who has a podcast who put some links on um feel free to just just jump on itunes really quickly leave a review um it really does it really does help to let people know um and it's it's interesting uh that everyone on here every single piece of feedback is is towards the hearts of the people on here like what you said dan when you jumped on here um and that's it, everyone just says how much of a warm energy this is, how supportive it is, how much of a, uh, you know, how, how loving people are. And I believe because when I started this, a lot of people on here were uh, part of the Patreon of purpose. A lot of people have been um, gathering, uh, coming together and, uh, and contributing to some really, really cool causes around the world in terms of uh, providing food, providing water, providing shelter, education, environment, to a lot of uh, a lot of families in in India, Malawi, uh, Kenya, a lot of a lot of uh, places like you say, Dan, that, that that often get overlooked. And so, the, I started this with about ten or twelve people um, who were who were, who have come together with me to contribute to these types of causes, and that's why it sort of spread the word sort of spread to reach out to people um, who they knew were a right fit. And I didn't, I didn't reach out to them to say, Hey, if you, if you are part of this movement, this Patreon of purpose, then I'll connect with all these people. This has all been, and been a byproduct of that. And so um, big shout out to everyone who's part of that. If you want to be part of it as well, if you want to come together and, and create, create a really, really cool difference around the world. Um, I might put the link in, in the chat if you want to join that as well. Um, it's not, it's very, very inexpensive, but trust me, if, around the world, a, a little, a little amount for, for us goes a very, very long way. Um, so I'll, I'll feel free. I'll, I'll grab that link and put it in here in a minute. Um, but is there anything else, Dan, that you want to, that you want to share about your, your platform, your podcast, your uh, groups, anything like that, that people can reach out and say hi? Well, I would, I would, I'll certainly put the link tree in the comments and the podcast has a Facebook group. Dreams are real. Please join that. But I would, I would say about the platform that, you, everybody seems like everybody has a platform in different ways today. And our yeah. focus is to provide the true foundations of success that everyone needs, the things that aren't sexy, that think of it as the walls, not the roof. So many programs are putting the roof on top of, on top of paper walls. We want to give the walls. So we're talking about things like how to make effective decisions, how to, uh, how to evaluate risk, how to sell more. Certainly sales is a key component of it. Leadership, communication, time effectiveness. It is all of the things that we all need to do really well at, but that most people don't love to teach that gives you the foundation to be able to do all of the rest. And so while, while I really, my goal was sharing the free course and to get everybody in this group an opportunity to take advantage of that, certainly the platform itself has, has been put together over a period of time. It already has 50 hours of training in it and more is being added every month. It's a pretty incredible opportunity. The biggest thing that I, that I would say is, is more what I want to offer. You mentioned before I'm a connector I know you are as well you've connected me to incredible people and I try to do the same if there is somebody specific that you are looking for in the world and I don't necessarily mean a name although if you see that I'm connected that's cool or if you see they've been on the podcast that's cool 
but if there's something specific that you are looking for, a specific service, a specific type of person, a specific place in the world, I'm, I've been very fortunate to meet a lot of wonderful, wonderful people across a series of networks, and I'm glad to make an introduction or a recommendation or a connection wherever I can. So please, and I, I think I've said that to each, each person individually, but please reach out and let me know. I'll put the link tree in the comments and I'll put the Foundations of Success link in the comments. And thank, thanks so much. I just appreciate all of you from truly from my heart. Awesome. Awesome, Dan. Yeah, take some time. We've got a few minutes here. Um, yeah, feel free to put those links in the, uh, in the, in the chat. And if also put them in the, um, in the Slack channel as well, if you, if you haven't done that already. Yeah, they're there. Awesome. Beautiful. Thanks so much, my friend. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. How cool is that? And, um, and what else is there? I mean, feel free to chuck in any links as well, guys, but I'm, I'm looking for, I'm needing a lot of help with, with sharing this message as well. If you are on here, you probably know some others who share similar values to you. Uh, feel free to reach out, connect them with me or just send them the link to, um, to join. Um, I'm always looking for people um, who are looking to share the recording as well. Cause I'll put this on YouTube so that people can, um, people can reach out and people can put your links in the comments and just use the YouTube platform to, to spread it to more people. Um, I always am looking for people who are, who are just wanting to be part of this growth, be, be part of, uh, expanding this and the more people who jump on here uh the more people i can introduce to you and obviously you can give them the gift of jumping on as a speaker as well i'm looking for um for people to jump on as a speaker who haven't been who haven't spoken yet um so if you want to uh type in type in two in the chat if you're wanting to uh if you're wanting to share this youtube recording uh, and share it with your audience or share it with a few of your networks or even just a few people um, because it's really cool to be able to uh, to just leverage our networks in a way that's that's heartfelt and a way that uh, builds businesses in a very, very different way. Because if we can build businesses in a very, very different way, I think that's going to become the norm because that's where the heightened level of consci consciousness is moving anyway. We'll just build our businesses from that space and be basically riding the wave of, of who we really are um, rather than just all of that resistance. Um, so awesome. It seems like a lot of people are wanting to share. I'll, I'll post this. I know a lot of people have a lot of content out there already and releasing a lot of content and it can be um, a bit overwhelming to also share this link um, and to share this recording, but it is very, very, uh, it, it is, it, it means a lot for me when, when I come on here and, and do, my best to connect a lot of people and so many of you have reached out to, uh, to say, how may I help? Who can I invite and, um, and what they can do and inviting them to the Facebook group. And it just, it just means a lot to me to feel uh, really connected with you guys. So thank you so much for everyone who's willing to, to share that, um, share that on a post, or even if you just want to create a post to say, Hey, this is what we're doing. And it doesn't necessarily have any links in there, but you're just willing to do that and, um, and ask me for the link afterwards. Uh, feel free to feel free to do that as well. Um, but this is on the hour. So thank you so much for everyone who's here. Thank you for everyone who, uh, who's joining live, anyone who's on the recording. Uh, it's just an absolute pleasure to do this each week. I'll see you guys next week, same day, same time. I'll be obviously expanding my network during the week and inviting you to some really cool people. Um, but also really cool to have some returning guests like Dan and anyone else who wants to be a returning guest. I just thank you so much guys for being here and I'm always, always happy to support you on your business journey. So make sure you uh, take some time to breathe today, tonight, whatever the time is for you and just uh, take in all of this energy because it really is something that's, that's super special and super motivating for me as well. So thank you so much guys. I'll see you guys next week. And for those of you who want to jump on tomorrow, uh, same time, I'll see you on the, on the group coaching call as well. Awesome. Big shout out to the speakers and everyone who's awesome. Take care, my friends.